my channel. Happy New Year. I am super excited for a new decade and a new year. It's going to be super amazing. But before I get started into the review, I just want to send my heartfelt love and prayers out to our fellow Australians. You guys are in my prayers. We're going to jump into the review of the new concealer from Hourglass. So yesterday I took a trip to my local Sephora. It took me about an hour and a half and I picked it up. While I was there, I did do some swatches. I couldn't swatch every shade because the girl was kind of like, what the hell are you doing? And it was a little bit weird. You know how like some Sephora employees are super cool with everything and then there's some employees that are like, no, like what are you doing? So I was able to get several shades. I didn't get them all, but I will put up that image in a little bit. This is the new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. So full disclosure, I love Hourglass products. I love their powder. I love their blushes and their bronzers and stuff like that. But the Vanish Stick Foundation is not my favorite all over the face. Being that I am 40 years old and I have like a dry normal skin, that stick foundation is just a tad bit too heavy for me. I do use it for extra coverage. Like if I'm having a breakout or something, I will throw a little bit of that on with my other foundations, but that's not a foundation that I can wear alone. Now the liquid foundation was a hot mess. It looked horrible on my skin. So when I saw that they released this, I'll be honest with you, I was not super excited about it because I just haven't had the best luck with Hourglass complexion products as far as their foundation. As you guys know, I like to wear my concealers for two or three days. I think I'm gonna wear this one for two days. I'm gonna wear this concealer for 12 hours or longer for each day. Because I'm 40, I have to be careful with wearing, you know, really thick, heavy concealer underneath my eyes. Up here on the screen, you will see what I prefer in a concealer. Just so that you guys know, you know, especially if you're new to my channel and you don't know me, it's nice to know what the person likes and what they look for when they're reviewing a product, especially a complexion product. So let's get into the details about this concealer. So this concealer retails for $34 for 0.2 ounces, which is six milliliters. It's a full coverage, weightless and waterproof concealer with micro sapphiric powders that blur and brightens up to 16 hours of skin perfection. This is a crease resistant, light reflecting liquid concealer that blends seamlessly into skin and diffuses the look of pores and fine lines. The highly pigmented formula even skin tone to conceal the appearance of dark circles, blemishes, and other imperfections for a smooth, natural, and airbrushed finish. So, let me say this. The texture of this, I would describe it as more of like a dry oil type of texture. So, it's not very creamy. It's not a real creamy concealer where it's wet. So, when you put it on, you almost can't feel it. And then as you start to blend it, it dries pretty quickly. So, you know, for those of you that are curious about that, it does dry pretty quickly. The other thing that I want to mention too is, as you guys know, I typically don't set my under eye and I don't really like a lot of heavy, heavy powders underneath my eyes. But with this concealer, I did not even have a want or need to put powder over it. It dries in such a way, I don't think you need to put powder over top of it. Now, if you're somebody that likes to bake, then, you know, keep that in mind. Now today, I'm not gonna wear any powders over top of it. Tomorrow, I might set it with some setting powder. The shade that I chose is the shade Dune. Dune is described as medium to medium deep with yellow undertones. I'm a medium with a golden undertone. I'm like a medium tan with a golden undertone. That's typically how I buy my foundations. This shade didn't give me a lot of brightening, but it definitely is a perfect shade match for me. I don't like a really bright under eye as I've aged. Just having that really bright under eye just doesn't look good on my skin anymore. So up here on the screen, you will see this shade, Dune, next to some of the other darker concealers that I have in my collection. So I compared it to the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer in the shade Beige. Then you'll see the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away in number six. And then you'll see the Armani Beauty Power Fabric Concealer in number six as well, right below it. So it's definitely the darkest of those, but I really like this shade. So let's go ahead and do some price comparisons next to some of the higher end concealers that are out on the market. So in that same price range. So let's start with the Hourglass. The Hourglass 
It has 22 shades. It retails for $34 for 0.2 ounces, which is six milliliters. That makes it $5.67 per milliliter. Now, if we compare that to the Armani Beauty, which is the Power Fabric Concealer, that concealer is the exact same price. You get 20 shades in the Power Fabric Concealer. It is $34 for 0.2 ounces, which is six milliliters. That makes it $5.67 per milliliter. So let's compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. There are 21 shades in that concealer. It retails for $32. You get 0.13 ounces, which is four milliliters worth of product. That makes it $8 per milliliter. So the Charlotte Tilbury is very expensive compared to this one from Hourglass and also the one from Armani Beauty. Now let's compare it to the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. There are 12 shades in that concealer. It retails for $54. You get 0.24 ounces, which is seven milliliters. That makes it $7.71 per milliliter. So the Tom Ford is actually cheaper than Charlotte Tilbury, if you can believe it. I also compared it to the YSL All Hours because it seems like to me Hourglass and YSL and Charlotte Tilbury, they're all kind of in that price range. So the All Hours Concealer comes in 16 different shades. It retails for $34. You get 0.17 ounces, which is five milliliters. That makes it $6.80 per milliliter. So the Armani Beauty and the Hourglass Concealer are both cheaper than all the ones that I just talked about. Okay, so that's it for all the information about the concealer. Let's go ahead and jump into the application portion of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for the next couple of days, and I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do some check-ins, and we're gonna wear it for 12 hours and longer, and I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the application. Okay, so I picked up this concealer yesterday at Sephora and I am excited to try it. Let's go ahead and try it. I just really hope that this is gonna work because it's it's good. It's, it's a little bit lighter and I'm only gonna apply just a little bit first. Today is Saturday and my son and his friends are over. So if you guys hear any outside interference, I apologize, but I'm happy to have my son home, so I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so first things first, that shade is perfect. It's not too light and it's not too dark, so I'm kinda just doing this with my finger, and that blended right out. I'll be honest with you, when I was swatching this, I felt like it was gonna be drying. It felt like it was gonna be a really dry concealer, but this is not very drying. It kind of has that like dry oil type of texture to it, and so far, it feels really nice. I'm curious to see how this will wear. Now, I did apply my, I did apply an eye cream, but that's been probably an hour ago. So it's definitely absorbed right into my under eye by now, but this actually looks so good. I'm kind of shocked right now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with a sponge on this side. It has a tiny hint of paint scent. Just a tiny hint though, like it's not super strong. I feel like I need to add just a little bit more, like right here, because the sponge kind of soaked it up, but I'm just gonna kind of smooth this out. Wow, I'm kind of impressed right now, you guys. I'm just kind of going up in there and kind of picking up any of the extra sitting in the creases, but it's not even emphasizing my creases. I'm kind of curious about this one. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch it here on the back of my hand. So you guys can see, it's definitely a full coverage, but it's very smooth. And as you can see, it looks really good over the wrinkles too. When I was swatching it in the store, I felt like it was gonna be a little bit drying, but it's actually pretty moisturizing and it kind of has a little bit of a shine. So as you can see here on my finger, I'm not trying to flip you off, but here on the finger that I used to blend it out, you see how it has a little bit of a shine to it? So. Yeah, and it feels dry, so it's completely dry. 
it's not tacky at all it's definitely a concealer I've never felt before it's not wet at all there's no wetness to this concealer okay so I went ahead and pulled you guys in so you guys could see what my under eyes are looking like this stuff dries like it is completely set down and I kind of have a feeling that this is a formula that I would not recommend putting powder over I can tell by the way it dries that you really don't need powder this is not a liquid concealer even though it is it's not a wet liquid concealer so it has kind of that dry oil type of texture and so that when you put it on the when you put it on the skin it starts to dry now it doesn't start to feel cracky and kind of drying that way but this is nice i am so surprised and to be honest with you, I didn't have a lot of high hopes for this one because I hated the Liquid Vanish foundation. Hate that foundation. Like that foundation was a complete shit show for me. This is totally different. I like this so far. I like this, I'm impressed. So right now it is 10 o'clock in the morning right up here. Okay, so that's it for the application portion of the video. I'm gonna jump off of here, finish the rest of my makeup, so I will see you guys in my first check-in. Okay, everyone, I am back for a midday check-in on this concealer. So it is currently 3.38. So I've officially had this on for about five and a half, almost six hours. Um, this looks pretty dang good. I am starting to get a little bit of like the dark shadow, like my dark circles are starting to come through. Um, so, you know, that's something to always consider, especially if you have really, really dark circles and you're wanting this to be like a full, full coverage. I, I don't know if you can see it, but like right here, let me get a little pointer. Like right here, the darkness is starting to come through. I have a little bit of darkness coming through here, but so far I think it looks absolutely flawless underneath my eyes. In fact, if it stays looking like this, even for the next, you know, three or four hours, I will be completely happy. Like, you know, I need my concealers to last for at least eight to 10 hours. I know that 12 hours is a long time to test a concealer, but I do that because there's a lot of you out there that have really long shifts and some of you work for 12 hours or longer. So I always like to test out my complexion products for 12 hours or longer. Personally for me, if a concealer or foundation will last eight to 10, that's my targeted mark. Okay, so we are up close and very personal and I tried not to put a lot of eyeshadow on my lower lash line, um, but tomorrow I won't put any eyeshadow on. It doesn't feel very drying. It feels very soft on the eye. If I put my hands underneath my eyes, I can't feel anything there. It's very, very soft. Probably one of the softest formulas I have in the concealer. So tomorrow I will probably put powder on one eye and powder on and no powder on the other so we can see what it looks like with powder on. For those of you that like to wear powder on your under eye, I know there's a lot of people out there like me that would prefer not to powder. And so we'll see how this goes. But so far, like, I'm just gonna say this so far. If it lasts like this for the next several hours, this might, this might be a new favorite formula because it's absolutely beautiful on the under eye. So that's it for this check-in. I will see you guys in my next check-in.
Okay everyone, I'm back to give my final thoughts on this concealer. It is currently 11.11, as you can see right here. I did want to point out that I am um, representing my hourglass. This is my hourglass sweatshirt. It's so cute. I decided, to, I thought, why not wear the hourglass sweatshirt when I'm reviewing the product? Let me get into my thoughts about this concealer. So as you saw, this morning I went ahead and filmed me applying this concealer on one side I set it with powder which is this side the other side I didn't this is a very thick full coverage concealer so I definitely recommend like you saw me do this this morning wipe off the applicator the reason why I like to wipe off an applicator and then go in is because then I'm not going in with too much I can bring it down and kind of cover the places that I want without needing to use a lot this is a concealer that you do not have to use very much of it's very pigmented and it's kind of a thicker concealer so I would say it's a thicker formula but this is a nice formula I'm very impressed with the way that it wears the way that it looks I would say the only negative that I can find about this concealer is the fact that I start to lose coverage a little bit quicker than I would prefer from a full coverage concealer but other than that, it's absolutely beautiful. It's very, very lightweight under the under eye. The thing that I like about it is it does kind of have that shine to it. So I love how it kind of allows my under eyes to kind of look refreshed, kind of something similar to, now you guys know I love my Tarte Creaseless, but this is a very luminous concealer and a lot of people don't like the luminosity that it provides. Some people love it like I do, and some people don't like it, and I totally get it. We're all different. So I would say this one is pretty hydrating. It's not drying at all, but this one is thick and kind of sets down, where this one, this one eventually sets that down, but it stays a little bit more luminous. This still gives you the luminosity, but in a very soft way. I really like this concealer. I'm very, very impressed with it. From my experience from the liquid foundation that I just did not like whatsoever. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did not like that foundation. It was terrible. And the stick foundation not being my all-time favorite. This is completely different than that. It's very lightweight, but so beautiful on the under eye. It gives this beautiful finish. If you're looking for a really nice full coverage very soft formula it's really beautiful when i swatched it in the store i thought it was drying and i kind of had that like oh no i had that reaction like oh crap this is going to be drying but it's not you guys this is super beautiful on the skin i think the only people that won't particularly like this concealer is those of you out there that like a matte concealer so if you like a really matte concealer like a tart shape tape or the huda beauty concealer something that's just really matte i don't know that you'll love this because it has such a luminous um soft blurring uh texture to it and i recommend just going in with a little bit of this because you really don't need a lot application tips with this i would just recommend blending it out quick because it does want to dry quickly not to the point where it doesn't give you enough time to blend it out if you are somebody that likes to put your concealer on here put your concealer on here put it up here, draw the line, you know, put it all around and then go in and blend. It's not going to give you enough time to do that. I do not recommend doing that with this concealer. I recommend putting it on your under eye, like on one eye and blend it out immediately. Move on to the next eye. Anywhere that you put it, you need to blend it out immediately. That's my advice when you're applying this. The thing that I would say that I don't like about the packaging is the overspill. So I'm getting quite a bit of overspill and I have that same experience because this is the exact same packaging as their gloss. This is the same packaging as the gloss and I have the same problem with the gloss. So the gloss has like a rounded tip on it whereas the concealer kind of comes up into a little bit of a point but they're the same length, they just have a different tip. But the exact same packaging, I mean these two are exactly the same and I'm just getting a little, see how I get a lot of um, spillage here on the gloss like you can see where I just get that and it drives me nuts so the concealer I can tell is starting to do that you can hear it when I stick it down in there 
I'd say those are probably the only two negatives I can find. It doesn't maintain like a full coverage for several hours. Even in my six hour check-in, I did start to get a little bit of the darkness kind of coming through. For the first six hours, it's like a full coverage concealer. And then the remaining six hours is like a medium coverage. But what I love about this the most is the finish. It's so smooth and so like, it's got a luminous finish to it. It's a smooth, yet luminous finish and it's so lightweight. This is one of the most unique formulas I've ever had in a concealer. I've never had a concealer quite like this before. I mean, I've only been using this for two days, but right now these are my two favorite. Like this is a favorite concealer. I feel like a lot of you out there are gonna enjoy this. Like I feel like many of you of all ages can enjoy this. Even if you have dry, mature under eyes, I kind of have a feeling that you'll enjoy this. Like this is pretty, hydrating but yet so soft on the wrinkles and I love it personally like I you guys know that I have no skin in the game I'm 100% honest this is a beautiful concealer if you're in the market to buy a new concealer I would recommend looking into this because this is really beautiful and now that you guys know how I feel about it I have been wearing this for Let's see, I applied this right around 10 o'clock this morning. So I've had it on for about 13 hours now. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull you guys in so you can see, but remember this is the side this morning in the footage that I set with some powder. I don't like powder under my eyes. It looks beautiful from afar, but when you look up close, I don't like the powder right here on my creepy skin, so it's not my favorite, but I wanted to do that for many of you out there to, to kind of let you guys know if this is a concealer that you can set, and I definitely feel like this is very powder friendly. It was with the Hourglass. Now, I can't speak on all powders. It's sometimes brands' products work better with their own products, so I did use the Hourglass powder, so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not. Okay, so this is the side that I set it with the powder, and then this is the side with Hourglass. Uh, the only thing I would say that the powder did was kind of helped me to maintain the coverage. So as you can see, I have a little bit more coverage like right around this area than I do on this side. I just think this looks so beautiful 13 hours later and I didn't wear any eyeshadow or mascara on my bottom uh, lashes because I didn't want, I wanted you guys to see what this actually looks like without eyeshadow and stuff. Even though it's been 13 hours, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel cakey, it gets very soft you guys. And see how I've maintained this little bit of that luminosity to the under eye? And that's what I love about this concealer is that it sets down in such a beautiful way. Yeah, I, I have to say it though. This might be a new favorite. I really, you guys are gonna see me use this quite often and you're gonna hear me talking about it. I don't know that it's completely replaced my Tarte Creaseless, but let me tell you something, it's coming for it because it's beautiful. But see the shine that you can see on my finger right here? You can see that shine to it, that's what I'm talking about. So it dries pretty quickly, but still giving you the time that you need to blend it out but look how soft and just beautiful that is. And, and it's completely dry, it's not tacky, but it's so soft and it, see how it kind of gives a little bit of that luminosity to my hand right there? You guys, the, look at that, I just, I love it, look at that. I mean, it's just so beautiful and see how I had those little creases right here? You can just go in, it's such a smooth texture. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I hope that I answered all the questions that you guys had about it. If not, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. I will definitely answer them to the best of my ability. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for the love that you show me in my channel. It means the world to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful week filled with love and joy. I will see you guys in my next video and I love you all so much. Bye.